often in the laboratory you will be required to make a certain concentration of a compound, a drug or a selection agent for cell culture. And so in this video we're going to look at how you quickly do that calculation. Let's say we have 200 ml of complete media and by complete media that we're using for our cell culture we're talking about your base media such as IPMI, DMEM or any other uh, constituent nutrient media that you use and we say it's complete when we've added our fetal bovine serum usually at 10 percent we've added l-glutamine or glutamax the l-glutamine is less stable than glutamax and we've also added our penicillin and our streptomycin which is usually sold as pen strep a combination of the two antibiotics and so when we have the fetal bovine serum glutamine or glutamax and our uh, antibiotics the streptomycin and penicillin we call this complete media so let's say we want to make 0.4 mg per mil of our selection agent, milligrams per milliliter of our selection agent. The first thing we need to ask ourselves is what's the stock concentration of the selection agent at? Or whatever drug or compound that we want to add to the media, what's the stock concentration at? If, for example, the stock concentration is at 50 mg per mil and we are looking for 0.4 mg per mil, then we simply do that division, that calculation, in order to know what the dilution should be. So we would do 50 mg per mil divided by 0.4 mg per mil and we get a dilution ratio of 125. Now let's keep in mind that we actually want to make 200 milliliters of the media and so if it was just one milliliter that we wanted then we would just go one mil divided by the 125 dilution ratio that we've just calculated and that would give us 0 0.008 mils and we're saying mils or milliliters because that's the volume that we're using now trying to prepare 0 0.008 milliliters in the lab is not as accurate so you would tend to scale it up to microliters and so in this case would be eight microliters and we got there by multiplying the 0 0.008 by a thousand the difference between a milliliter and a microliter and so we get eight microliters since we actually want 200 milliliters we would do 200 milliliters divided by the 125 dilution ratio we've just calculated for the selection agent for the stock of the selection agent and the final that we actually want and so that gives us an answer of 1.6 milliliters or mils and we are happy with 1.6 milliliters we have tools equipment that can easily allow us to aspirate that volume accurately so we don't need to scale it to microliters or anything so we'll go ahead and prepare up 1.6 milliliters of the selection agent of the drug of the compound to add to our 200 milliliters of media in order to have it be at 0.4 mg per milliliter which we can now use in our cell culture okay hope this was helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video